Hi everyone. You know how we have an abundance of squash this time of year? Well, I'm going to make a little casserole. So I was making one for dinner and I thought, why not share it with my Fountain of Health friends? So I have a casserole dish. And what I'm going to do is, instead of rice, I make quinoa. Now quinoa is very easy to make. And what it is, is it is a seed. So I've taken quinoa super easy. This is two cups of water, um, one cup of quinoa, bring it to a boil, turn it to simmer for 15 minutes, set the timer, turn it off, and let it rest for five. Okay, so I'm going to put this on the bottom of the casserole. If you don't like quinoa, then do rice. I just thought it would be super yummy. Then I've taken this um, squash, yellow, I grated it, the yellow zucchini, and I'm going to put that on top. So I did about five zucchini, uh, the yellow squash, not zucchini, the yellow crookneck, what am I thinking? But zucchini would totally work. Okay, then I'm going to put a little bit of chili the canned chili, just to give it a little, maybe some heat, but not too much. All right, then we're going to add um, a little bit of cheese. So I usually don't eat cheese, but this is Monterey Jack, and I didn't have enough Monterey Jack, so I used Monterey and um, jalapeno pepper, so I think that will be totally yummy but I'm just going to save a cup for the top. Okay, that's about, that's about a cup. Okay, now I'm going to add in onion on top of that and some um, bell pepper. So you can do green bell pepper or whatever bell pepper you want. I just thought the yellow would look pretty. And then I have here, I have two cups of the pho yogurt, um, a teaspoon of oregano, salt, about a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper, and then I'm going to add cilantro. I love cilantro, so do what you want to taste, or parsley. And I'm going to mix that all together, but first I'm going to put on a diced tomato on top. Then I'm going to mix this up. Should have bigger spoon. So you can use sour cream if you want, but I'm using yogurt because it's the Greek yogurt and it's nice and thick. Okay, then I'm going to put this on top. Doesn't this look good? Tell me it doesn't look good. Majestic's filming. Does it look good, Majestic? Majestic, say yes. Say yes, Mommy. Majestic, say yes! She's acting all shy. They, now they know you're filming me, so say something. Okay, well, we'll just act like it wasn't Majestic and it's some foreign entity filming me. Okay, whatever. I'll get her on film one of these days. La 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 la. Now we'll just sprinkle it with cheese on top. Oh. Doesn't that look yum? Okay, so what I'm going to do is bake it at 350 for about 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, and then I'll show you what it looks like, and um, I'll show you how it looks when I bring it out. Okay, until then. Okay, there's the casserole. I ended up cooking it for um, at 350 for 45 minutes, so I'm going to cut into it. It's cooled. I let it cool a little bit. I'll put it on my plate. So it looks totally yummy. 
yes, yes. So the um, the uh, uh, squash just kind of disappeared in the quinoa, you know. But um, let me take a little taste of it. Tell you what it tastes like. You see me? <laughs> Sorry about that. It's really good. It's very good. It um, you you don't really taste the oregano, but it's something there. And I really like the spicy cheese. It's delicious. It but I would be. It was more of a grain dish than a vegetable dish. So um, okay, to your health.